welcome, 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 welcome. I was just gonna sit here for a second and then um, Spring Love came on, so that might be important to you guys. But this is gonna be my cancer, I love. My little Cancerians, I will tell you, this song actually means a lot to me, and um, I'm actually a Cancerian, so it's kind of ironic, but I will tell you, when I think about this song, I think about having that feeling with somebody, and it, it was very intense, and, and, and magical, and, and butterflies, and brand new, and... I just got the goosebumps. It, it just brings back happy memories of being with somebody, enjoying enjoying the time that you spend with this person. Well, for me, that's what it was, enjoying the time that I had with that person. I mean, that was with my um, my husband. I almost said my first husband, like, I know I'm going to get remarried. <laughs> or I, I totally, like, listened to that in a different lifetime. All right? So... Any hoozy. All right. Well, you got two because they came flying out. So lucky you guys because normally I would only take one. But that was so smooth that uh, you got two. So let's see what's going on. And that flip too. So nine of pence. The harvest is here. The harvest is here. That wants to come out. Woman of Pence. My little Krabby Potters. Yeah, I call you guys my Krabby Patties too. Because you're my Krabbies. Damn. Damn. Oh. Alright, who had these same exact cards? You have strength at the bottom of the deck, but it's reversed. Somebody had these same cards. We have dullness, we have courage, and the five of cups. I don't think they have the five of cups. You're coming out of the sorrow. I don't know what the sorrow is about. Okay. Um... I've been having a hard time relating to cancer lately. I've been trying to help you guys, all right? But there's a reason why I'm confused in cancer energy right now. It's like the universe doesn't even want me to know. So it's like, and again, it's a seven to seven. There's another Zodiac that had this. If you guys remember, if you want to comment below. Um, but it was this way. I did a personal reading the other day, too, that had these cards. Believe it or not. Um, it's actually happened a couple times. So, what this is telling me is you're just not, with the seven of, it would be the seven of swords, but it, it's like, this isn't deception. It's more like your thoughts about the situation are just blah. It's like you know somebody's wearing a false mask or you are. All right? It's like blah. You know, but again, this being courage is saying you kind of have it. And then over here, it's got the strength reversed. So maybe you know somebody doesn't have the courage or you're just like blah. I don't, you know, like that's bizarre. I, you have two energies already up in your spread. Oh. 
you got to be kidding me. There's a reason why I guess I saved the the last four zodiacs for today. Because the first the first one too was like, uh, people are gonna be like, no, Court, you're just confused today. Nah, I'm not. I'm not at all. My mind is open. There's no confusion here. <sighs> Cancerians, cancer, cancer, cancer. I love, I love. To tell me you love me easy. All right, so you're like, oh, it's so easy to tell me you love me. Like, I don't know if we have a trust thing here going on, too. All right, call in your soulmate. Let your friends help you. I don't ever like that. That's probably where the seven's coming in. You guys are not together. All right, you've had a past life relationship, healing family issues. So right off the bat, it's going to take me somewhere in past life, and I just said it in the beginning of my spread. I felt it. And then show me, show me, you really love me. Like somebody's like, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's what that is. And now I just felt anger, and it's funny because I so was not even in the anger mood. So what the F is this shit? Oh my gosh, the beats today are so like, ugh. Ugh. Get to the bottom of it. I'm not even going to try to figure this out right now. To be honest with you, I just want to get out of this. And that's crazy because I've never said that. Like, it's definitely not going to rush through. But this is what I feel. Like, I, I feel like you guys want to get out of something. But, like, anywho, tell me about the Seven of Swords. Holy crap, are they telling stories to you? <sighs> You know, show me. Show me you really love me. I don't want to hear the blah, blah, blah. You know, like, this is like, this is not even like your energy. Consumerians are very compassionate, and you're, you don't have that right now. That is, you don't have that. Look at me, I just sat back, like, chilling, like, get comfy, my little Cancerians, okay? Get comfy. So, you're at the 10 of this. You're at the end. All right, like you're stubborn as shit. That's a bull. All right, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. You're not having it. And I want to say that was on that card too. Anywho, but this is like the last step you gotta take to get there. All right, if you're worried about toxicity, don't. Or it's either this saying like there's no way you're dealing with a Capricorn. You're not having it. And I'd love to get out of this energy, but that's what I think that is. It's having the courage to step out of that type of toxicity, that energy. It's not passionate energy. It's not what that is. Tell me about courage, which is the seven of wands, you know, standing up for what it is you believe in. So, you know, you got the son of swords reversed. So it's, it's, this is either you or this other person, but this person hurt you because it's going this way. So it's swords going right to the five of cups. All right. So it's like, you're so disappointed in this person, but you're so over being disappointed with this person. Get what I'm saying? It's like you're over it. And now it's like, can you feel the beat within my hat? Because you have this tight connection. You, it's there. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. So you're coming out of it. All right? Yeah, see the my swords. Like, you cut that bullshit out. The sword's down. You don't care to talk about it. You don't care to argue about it. You don't care to discuss it. If you're not feeling this energy yet, you will be because this is strong. And I'm not feeling this yet like that. This person stabbed you in your back. Well, someone's going to stab you in your back, but I feel like it already happened. It's past tense. The Five of Cups is reversed. It's not even a thing for you right now. Tell me about calling in your soulmate. You're like, and if this is like, it's funny because I'm like, if this is like she found the beauty in the devil, it's like, no, 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 she didn't. I'm not taking that last step. I'm not taking that leap of faith. So I don't know if this is her. I don't know. I guess when I, I start clarifying and using the moon card and then the, 
the house of the night, it's going to definitely give me more info, okay? Tell me about calling in your soulmate. Um, I don't feel like you are, though. I think you probably have. Yeah, see, right now, you're going to fight it. The death reverse, you're going to fight that shit. You're not accepting it. See, my Cantarians, this is not your normal energy. Your compassion is not there. Tell me about let your friends help you. So I don't even feel like the daughter of swords reversed. So now, and now it's going this way. It looks like a, one of your friends might have stabbed you in your back. Or you, this was a friend of yours that stabbed you in the back and, and had something to do with this. There's something fishy there. A friend of a friend. A story was told. Somebody slept with somebody. It's something. A friend of a friend knows something that's not saying something. This person's not accepting it. Tell me about death reversed. Like the two of them are like, it's like the two people got burnt here. And it had to, something has to do with the friendship. So maybe just the friendship ended. Tell me about the death card. It's the, it's the Seven of Swords. Right, seven swords are up there too, and now this is upright. So there was definitely some deception, deceit here. It's more than self sabotage, and now, okay, now it's more than self sabotage. Well, no, it is self sabotage because this person is actually not accepting. So they're self sabotaging, but it's almost like my Cancerian, if this is your energy, you don't care anyway. You really don't. This person is dead to you. You don't want to resurrect shit. person stabbed you in the back. I don't know if this is your current situation, if this is a past situation coming back around, or if these are just your thoughts because it's effing Venus. Tell me about separation, because you guys are not together. Oh my gosh, the seven of swords again. I mean the seven of wands. So you got the two, the two sevens back to back. All right, but these two are uh, uh, reverse and these no see this one is reversed that's upright that one's upright this one's reversed and they're in opposite directions so now we got two effing energies so now we got one energy up here that's like not nah, i'm not dealing with you i don't see the beauty and shit i don't got faith to take that leap with you you stabbed me in the back now you have somebody who's trying to call you in that i think wasn't accepting it okay for the longest time and now they're like she's not gonna take me back you know, like I, maybe I chose friends or something like I fucked up type thing. And, you know, with separation, you guys weren't together because there was something sneaky that you didn't know about. So I don't know if they were sleeping with other people and you had no idea or they think you were sleeping with other people. So they, they, they took themselves out of the scenario. Tell me about past life scenario, <clears throat> past life relationship. Okay, <clears throat> so we have the six of pens with the seven of cups. So we have a, a, a another F and seven. You got straight up seven sevens. Those that's beautiful messages too. But now you got five sevens, so it's multiplied. That's F and intense. Okay, but you uh, to me what this is saying. There's always been confusion. There's always been options. This, somebody had options. Okay, to me what this is saying that this this has never in each life that you guys have had this has never come to a head. This has never balanced itself out, ever. And now it's like the time, because the two of you know. Tell me about the six of pens. So, <clears throat> the hanged man. So we're, it's in limbo right now while you figure it out. And again, the strength, both strengths at the bottom of the deck. And here's that tower. You're going to have no choice. Something's going to be illuminated. You don't have a choice here. It, the universe is going to bring it, whether you want it or not. And I think that, and I think you know that, and I think that's why you're like, are you effing kidding me right now? So, we got wishing, all right, and the high priestess of spirit, and that's another seven. That's six sevens, guys. One, two, three, four, five. I don't, where's that fifth one? One, two. Three, 
four. You could have sworn you had five. Oh, the other seven, seven of cups. Okay, and now you have the high priestess of spirit, which is another seven. So you have six sevens. Holy shit. I've never even had that come up. Spiritual meaning of seven, 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 seven. The number seven is a highly spiritual number that is associated with intuition, mysticism, inner wisdom, and a deep inward knowing. The number seven combines hardworking number four with mystical and creative number three. Saying you're on your right path. All right, especially when you see it over and over and over. And this is a strong message. So it's, it's almost like a message for me too because I had the inner knowing that this was a past life situation already. See how, see how crazy this is? But I know you guys know too. So, it's, it, yeah, you've bared hardships, all right? You, got perp you have a purpose. You know your purpose, all right? It, it's like wearing a medal, and that's that lion. It, it's hard right now, okay? It's... Uh, it's evolution, it's stability, it's, it's completion, okay, it's, it's dignity, it's esoteric, it's, it's a lot of things, um, but I also know it's just, you're on your path to your dreams, all right, it, it's tripled, it's amplified, it's magnified, all right, so you can't escape this, and if anybody's trying to escape this, you, you, you're shit out of luck, it, it's not possible, it's just, it's not possible. And I feel like somebody's backing out of something when I don't think you would have before. And now you are. Okay. Um, you have a lot of healing to do with this person. And to be honest with you, it's, and Fantasy Girl was just on. So you're like, I'm not doing this. You got so much healing to do with this person. And, and it's from a different lifetime. I'm sure it's this lifetime too, but it's from a different lifetime. Like this is deep rooted. That's why I said get comfy. You want to know why? Because this shit ain't going nowhere. That's why I felt your frustration. This shit ain't going, this not going nowhere, my little cancerians. <laughs> I already knew that anyway. <sighs> Now that things and events and experiences are starting to be woven together, it's like a magical web that can only be seen in the darkest night by only human eyes, okay? And look at all these owls. These are all night animals. Owls, a bat. These are night animals. Fox. Okay? So, it's a divine scheme of things. A meaningful, a meaningful coincidence and a blessed lover, a significant experience is about to be orchestrated by me and become very powerful. No matter what's in front of you, know that something important is brewing. You will know the answer of what soon enough. I will keep the secret why. You may step forward knowing some things are meant to remain a mystery. This is coming at you and right off the bat you're not even going to understand it. I wonder if you're dealing with Scorp, because that was their energy, and they had the sevens, too. Okay. Um, wishing. My dear one, I've heard your prayers, and I know, you're high, I know it's for your highest good. Dreams do come true. So you're like, this person is not a dream. I don't want this person. All right? They know. They know how your heart feels, though more than what you're saying, okay? You had to have wished at this at one point. You had to have. Make sure your dreams serve your highest purpose and they don't take away from another. So that means you don't want to give somebody else your time. Be careful what you wish for. Remember, all coins tossed in the wishing well. For every wish, there is a price to be paid. Are you ready to spend your time and energy now on your wish that's about to be granted? Question mark. Now is the time your wish will be fulfilled. Alrighty then. I, I hope some of you are excited because I don't feel it for you. 
I still feel confusion for me. And I, there's a reason for that, too. They don't want me to know certain stuff right now. All right. So I hope you guys are excited because I don't I don't feel it. So I, I get comfy. All right. That's all I got to say. Get comfy. Cancer. Cancer. So that's like even if this is a shit show, do your best to work it out because it's not going anywhere. It's a win-win outcome. And it's funny because in my scorp reading, I just had somebody saying, like, it was the Five of Swords where I was like, someone thinks it's a lose-lose, but it's a win-win. But it, someone's looking at it like a lose-lose. This is why I'm doing certain Zodiacs back-to-back. -back. You have to be working with scorp right now. But a lot of us are, actually. So... I wish you the luck, the best of luck, okay? Try to do your best in this situation, guys, because it's not going nowhere. This is a sign of partnership. It's falling in love again, okay? It's closely relating to somebody. All right, it's, it's about to climax. It's the start of a new relationship or something important that or, or an existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end and moving forward of a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason, and sometimes there is a reason or a season. If this relationship is ending now, then do the right thing and, and try not to fight it and let it go. This card also refers to a personal relationship. That is a sense that you need to balance with your ego. All right, so maybe this devil, the ego is gone, okay? But it's a win-win. It's possible, okay? But it, there's got to be give and take, and there's a give and take. You were never able to do that give and take in a past life. All right, you were never able to pull it off. But now they're saying you can. You can balance out the scales. That's why they're giving you the, the uh, Librian energy, okay? So it says, attune to the moon. Let go of whatever's falling away. So whatever these icky feelings are, let it go, okay? See the other person through the eyes of love, and it will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a little while, too. Look after yourself. But avoid vanity. Now is a great time for a makeover. All right. It just encourages you to, to, to find the balance between the desires and the people around you. And the Scorpio energy was all about desire and confusion as well. Okay. So I truly wish you guys the best. Okay. Because this is a tricky, 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 tricky situation. And But I know at one point there had to have been a lot of love. Because spring love came on, remember? And I remember telling you about that feeling that I got with that with my uh first husband okay so that's and another reason that that's probably why i know i'm gonna remarry because I, we talked about the past life thing okay so it's like if this is your scenario and you know this is your person and this is your situation then do your best to to work on this because there's no way around it so there'd be no point okay to try to fight it and if you did or you decided to be an ass whatever the situation is Regardless, eventually it's going to come back around. So why have to go through certain lessons or put yourself in that situation again for another six months, seven months or whatever? Might, might as well just solve it now. You know what I'm saying? My little jelly beans. Oh my gosh. I wish you the best of luck. I love you guys so much. Bye guys.